our safety thinking commences at the ent entrance of the depot. Uh, we do bus pre-checks, our presence in that environment, the car park, the fact we have moving buses in confined spaces. We have hazards like slippery surfaces or broken surfaces. We're encouraged to break up our shift and that is be it a five minute break or ten minute break, go to one of our driver facilities, have a quick drink, stay hydrated, be active. And the more that you do that, it does encourage drivers to be a little bit more alert in their shift. We have an open door policy with our depot manager, our work health and safety officer, and we also have two drivers who are our WHS delegates. So we do have a uh, stream of opportunity to actually go and talk about a hazard or a potential risk. And indeed, if, if it needs to be elevated, it's done in a formal process of feedback form and then passed along to the relevant uh, manager. Many hazards present themselves through road conditions, road damage, it could be accidents or traffic uh, situations, indeed poor weather. Oh, there's always risk with, with passengers as well as other traffic. Um, I suppose you never know how a passenger is going to react in certain situations. Some of them do get on and they're, they're quite angry. You know, you might be running a minute late or two minutes late. There, there has been personal attacks on drivers in the past. We do actually have a duress button, so as soon as it sort of looks like it's going to get nasty or anything, you're going to be pressing the button. We have instant communication. If I'm being attacked or whatever, I'm obviously going to press that button. I can give them information. They know exactly where I am and they'll send supervisors straight out. October is National Safe Work Month. Visit the website and find out how you can get involved. Safety is everyone's business and your knowledge and experiences are worth sharing.